Hi, and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new Luminar Neo processing engine and how much better it is than the processing engine in Luminar AI. Or is there even a difference? So let's get into the video and see how much of a difference there is. So just a few things I should point out first. This file or this photograph was shot on a Nikon D810. It's a 46 megapixel file. It's in the raw format and I'm editing it on a Windows 10 desktop PC. This PC is running on 5.1 gigs on all eight cores. It has 64 gigabytes of RAM and it has an M.2 drive. So it's a fairly fast computer. And let's say if Luminar AI was struggling on your computer, this is going to give you an idea of how much faster Luminar Neo is going to be in comparison to Luminar AI. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and edit the photograph in a few processing intensive um, applications and see how much of a difference there is in the two of them. So the two I'm going to try today would be the sky replacement and even just changing camera profiles because all of a sudden your whole image has to be changed from saturation to um, contrast to vibrancy. Look, let's just get into it and I'll show you the difference. Now, the other thing I should mention here is that this is actually still the Luminar Neo media version. This is not the beta version. I found a slight little bug, or at least I think it is a slight little bug. And one of the things I noticed when I was editing raw files in this is when you go to the D develop module, there's nothing for changing your camera profile there. So I was going, what's going on here? That just doesn't make sense. You have exposure, smart contrast, highlight shadows. You have all your other parameters down here to adjust in your develop module, but there's nothing for changing the camera profile. I couldn't find it anywhere else. So I was thinking, right, there's something wrong here somewhere. And this obviously just is a bug that's gonna be fixed before the beta version comes out. Where I found it was, if you go up into the history tab, there is develop and it's in blue writing afterwards, it says raw. So when I click on this, there we have it. We have our camera profile. So if I click on this, and if I go down here to camera flat, let's say, bang, changes to, as you can see, it's Nikon D810 camera flat. And if I go down here and change the camera landscape, bang, there it goes straight away. Now the one thing you can see is, those changes are instantaneous. So if I just do that now again, so I'm gonna go up here, we're on camera landscape, I'm gonna go back to camera flat. So I have it highlighted, and when I press the button now, it changes immediately. There is no delay. So let's do that once more again. So I'm going on here onto camera landscape, and if I press the button now, it's instantaneous. It really is straight away that <laughs> the, 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 the camera profile changes. So there is no lag. There is no delay. And, and changing your camera profiles anyway as such. So I'm just going to do that once more again. We're going to pick something completely oddball. We go camera neutral here. So if I click on it now, bang, it swaps over straight away. I'm going to pull down the screen there again or drop down menu and I'm going to click on camera landscape again. Bang, there we go. So I'll leave it on that for now. So this is all in Luminar Neo so far. I also have exactly the same photograph over in Luminar AI. So I'll just click on Luminar AI. You can see it up in the top corner here. And when I open our light module, you can change your camera profile here. So it's in Luminar default at the moment. If I click on that and if I select camera flat now, it takes like a second. So and if I drop, click on it to pop down the drop down menu, to pop down the drop down menu, that makes sense. And if I click on camera landscape now, it does take kind of three quarters of a second for it to kick in. So again, click on it and go down here to camera neutral like I did with the other one. Bang, yeah, and there she goes. And if I go back up, and I'm gonna leave it in camera landscape here now again, and click on the button now, there we go. So there is, there's more than half a second there. I'm, I'm gonna time it later on, and I'll put it in the text exactly how long it takes. So we're going back to, camera, to Luminar Neo, and we're gonna do the same thing here now again. So we're in camera landscape, we're gonna go down to camera neutral, now, and it's instantaneous. As soon as I press the button, and if I press on camera flat, now, and it really, it just happens immediately. So straight away, seeing quite a significant difference in processing power between the two bits of editing software. Now, is that enough? No, it's not. And again, of course, this is going to be exacerbated. It's going to be highlighted even more if your computer is slower. So if you're running on a slower PC, you're going to see more of an improvement. So um, 
But let's get back to, sorry, go back to tools here now, because the next thing I want to do is I'm going to try a sky replace. So again, we're in Luminar Neo, and what I want to do is I want to try a sky replacement. So if I just go back down here and click on sky, and we're going to open out the sky selection here now as such, and we're going to pick this sky. And if I click on it now, that's fast. And if I click on the one next to it now, whoa, that's really fast. And go back now, that is really quick. And now, and now, and I just picked the one above it. Now, that is super fast. And go back down to this one now. Yeah. Right, so this is all in Luminar Neo. So we're going to go back to Luminar AI here now. We're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to close up my light module, go down here to Sky AI. Click on blue skies. Oh, sorry, switch it on first, maybe. That would help, Kieran. So, um, oh, it was actually, <laughs> yeah, I just tried swapping over the sky there a minute ago. So, um, so, so we have this guy on here now at the moment, the replacement sky. We're going to click on the next one now. And there is a good difference. So, again, there's nothing else running in the background on this PC. And you can see there is quite a difference. So, if I go back to the original sky, or not the original sky, but the original replacement sky in, and if I press it now, there's a good difference there. So this is all in Luminar AI right now. And if I press the button now, and if I press it again now, right, and we're going to go back to Luminar Neo and do exactly the same thing on exactly the same photograph. So blue sky is up here. So we we'll press the button now. Bang. Press it now. That is crazy. Press it now. Press it now press it now. So you can see there is a huge difference in speed in the two of them. I just want to say that it, it is, it's great to see the likes of these products coming out and especially at a reasonable price. And I really wish all other software manufacturers would follow suit because if it's reasonable, more people can afford it. If more people can afford it, it's going to be for the greater good of photography. It's going to help people express their creativity, which is an absolutely amazing thing. But when people are limited because of their finances, that doesn't help. Whereas if you can go off and you can buy a new bit of editing software for 70 or 80 euros or whatever else it is, and if that will help you express yourself, if that keeps your, if that keeps your creativity flowing, and if that keeps you... If that gives you a voice in the world, through your art, then I think that is absolutely amazing. And by God, it's worth it. Now, if you have to spend 15, 20, 30 euros a month on it, that's a completely different thing. So, Skylam, thank you. Not just from my point of view, but thank you from everyone else out there for manufacturing reasonably priced software that works. And the thing about it, people say to me, oh, mine didn't work because of this, or mine didn't work because of that. And saying, look, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. If it didn't work, go back to them, say it to them, you get your money back. No harm, no foul. So again, just can't say anymore. I, I, I you know, I just, yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't know what to say. I just think, look, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to Luminar Neo. The AI processing engine is better, which is the point of this video. Um, I'm just babbling on now, so I'm going to stop it. The next video is probably going to be about power line removal AI, or it's going to be about dust spot removal AI. So um, that's it, folks. Um, that's all she wrote. See you out there. Have a good one.